Imagine an enemy fighter jet breaching Indian airspace. Within seconds, a radar locks on, a missile launches, and the threat is obliterated mid-air. This isn't science fiction. This is Akash, India's first line of sky defense. Indigenous. Lethal. Battle ready. In the ever-changing theater of modern warfare, air superiority is non-negotiable. And to protect its skies, India has developed an indigenous weapon of precision and power. The Akash Missile System. A surface-to-air missile system that not only exemplifies India's technological strides, but also its strategic autonomy. Today, we delve deep into the Akash missile, its evolution, capabilities, strategic importance, challenges, and future upgrades. This is not just about one missile, but the story of a nation securing its skies with indigenous might. The journey of Akash began in the 1980s under India's Integrated Guided Missile Development Program or IGMDP, a visionary initiative led by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. The goal? To create a family of missiles that could provide comprehensive defense coverage across multiple domains. Akash was envisioned as a medium-range surface-to-air missile to counter aerial threats from fighter jets to cruise missiles. Developed by DRDO, with key contributions from Bharat Electronics Limited, Bharat Dynamics Limited (BDL), and private industries, Akash represented India's ambition to break free from foreign dependency. Insert archival footage of Kalam, DRDO Labs, early Akash prototypes. Unlike imported systems, Akash was designed from the ground up to suit Indian terrain and military needs. The development faced challenges, especially during the Kargil War era, when India realized the critical gap in its air defense. Akash is a medium-range mobile surface-to-air missile system capable of neutralizing aerial threats up to 30 kilometers away and at altitudes reaching 18 kilometers. The missile is powered by a solid fuel booster and ramjet engine, allowing sustained speed and maneuverability. It carries a high-explosive prefragmented warhead and uses a command guidance system linked to powerful ground-based radar. Its central nervous system is the Rajendra radar, a multi-target tracking radar capable of tracking 64 targets and engaging 12 simultaneously. The system is built to function even in a dense electronic warfare environment. A complete Akash battery includes a surveillance radar, tracking radar, control center, and launchers, all mounted on mobile platforms. This mobility allows quick deployment along India's vast borders. Over the years, the Akash system has evolved. The original version, Akash MK-1, was inducted into the Indian Air Force in 2009 and later by the Indian Army. In response to the need for greater precision, the Akash MK-1S was developed with an indigenous seeker, significantly improving target discrimination and interception accuracy. But the true game changer is Akash NG, the new generation version. It features extended range of 70 kilometers, canisterized launch for rapid response, advanced active electronically scanned array, ASA radar, reduced reaction time and improved accuracy. Akash NG completed successful flight tests in 2021 and is set to be inducted soon. A naval version is also in development, aimed at defending Indian warships from aerial threats. Akash systems have been deployed across sensitive sectors, including the western and northern borders with Pakistan and China. These deployments provide quick reaction air defense cover for critical assets and military installations. In high altitude zones like Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh, Akash's mobility is a key advantage. During the Doklam and Galwan standoffs, Akash systems were silently moved into position, reinforcing India's aerial defense. The Indian Air Force uses Akash as part of its layered air defense network, 
working alongside systems like Spider, Barak 8, and eventually the S400. In an era where air dominance can define the outcome of a conflict, Akash gives India an edge. Here's why it's strategically significant. It's 96% indigenous, reducing dependency on foreign suppliers. It fills the gap between short-range manpads and long-range systems like the S-400. It's cost-effective and mobile, perfect for India's diverse terrain. It strengthens India's Atmanir Barbarat vision. Akash also acts as a deterrent. Enemy aircraft and drones approaching Indian airspace now face a credible threat, forcing tactical reconsideration. India has opened the Akash system for export. Countries like the Philippines, Vietnam, Armenia, and several African nations have shown interest. The Cabinet Committee on Security cleared its export in 2021, a major milestone. DRDO and BDL are actively engaging with defense attaches from friendly nations. This places India on the global defense export map and signals the quality and reliability of Indian systems. How does Akash fare globally? This Patriot USA. Patriot has longer range and advanced seeker, but is expensive and less mobile. Versus HQ-16 China, Akash NG offers better mobility and quicker deployment. Versus Barak 8, India, Israel. Barak has a longer range. Akash complements it for medium-range defense. Limitations include the older version's slower reaction time, larger logistics footprint, and weight. However, Akash NG addresses many of these. The future of Akash is promising. DRDO is working on naval variants for warship deployment, enhanced seeker and radar technologies, greater integration with AI-driven battlefield management systems. With Akash as a foundation, India could develop even more advanced indigenous air defense systems, rivaling the best globally. From a bold idea in the 1980s to a cutting-edge defense system today, the Akash missile system reflects India's journey toward technological independence and strategic strength. In a world where sovereignty is guarded not just by soldiers but by systems, Akash is a symbol of India's resolve to defend its skies with pride and power. This is more than a missile. This is a message. India is ready. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to Strategic Vanguard to get the latest updates from the world of defense and strategic affairs.